All right, so let's talk about the consistent character feature. This is gonna blow your mind, right? So now let's say if you're creating a story video or a moral video or a rant or a short film, anything, and you want characters to be consistent, this is gonna change your game, like literally. Let me show you how, okay? So you go to create with AI, again, you go to consistent character, now you will see like, you know, the layout is also changed and don't worry, I'll teach you how to do it properly. Okay. So you do reference photo type, you know, let's say, I mean, you know, what is reference photo? If you have a realistic character, you choose human, right? Like you're like you and me, right? Like, uh, if you want like a short film about that, right? But if you have 3d characters, you choose this, right? So let's start this. And then there are two reference photo. Let's say if you want, two people to be combined, two characters to be combined. That's why I gave you like, that's why it is in the, uh, it is in that thing, but it is not compulsory. It is not mandatory basically to always put this right. If you have a one character, you can still work around with there. Right. Let me show you how to go, how to do this. Okay. So you click on reference photo. It will open up this. You will click on my AI images. You click on this like the one that we just generated and say, choose this. And I say, she is one second. She is cooking in the kitchen, right? And just create the image, right? And now I'm going to say she is sitting on, on the bench, on the bench in the garden, right? And just going to create again, for example. So basically, you know, if you have your entire thing laid out, you can just create consistent scenes with the same character, right? Let's say she is running on the hill. Simple approach, right? Create the image. Now let's say while these are getting generated, look at that, right? You can save these images. Like I think she's cooking some kind of pasta or something. Anyways, pretty powerful, right? Look at that. Look at that, right? Um, pretty consistent how she is, the color, the suit, the hairs and everything. It's very, very powerful. You can save this image guys, by the way, to use it for the later purposes, right? And then let's convert this into a video, right? So again, video action prompt, you can leave it like it's optional. Okay. You can leave it as it is. It's all AI is going to automatically understand it. But if you don't want, uh, if you don't want to kind of, how do we say, right? If you don't want the AI to understand and if you want to give your instruction, okay, say cooking, you can still do that, right? Again, create the video, right? And this is super, super, super powerful, right? And I'm gonna come here, I'm gonna say, you know, like sitting or maybe for now, I'm just gonna, I don't know, like I just want her to be there. And then I see, uh, there you go. Okay, I want her to be running, right? So I just want her running and create the video. So all your videos will come there, right? So we'll wait for a few minutes and see the videos getting generated. In the meantime, let me show you how you can do with realistic humans, right? Like if you have your photo, client photo, whatever it is of you for creating a short film and all, right? So you click on reference photo. You click on my AI images, you'll click on this lady, for example, right? And say, and say, she is standing in the farm, for example, create the image, right? And say, she, uh, she is sitting on the bench in the snow, for example, right? Create the image, right? So as long as your reference photo is there, guys, you know, it's always going to kind of take that reference photo and generate your images uh, referring to this, right? If you delete it, it will ask you for a reference photo. And just to let you know, right? Just to let you know that, for example, if you have your photo type as 3D, and if you upload a realistic photo, like a human photo, it won't work. So just be, just, just know that, that you pick the right category. So if you're uploading a 2D style, so choose 2D. If you're doing like a 3D Pixar or, you know, 3D, just pick that, right? If you're doing human or like realistic, do that, okay? 
So just keep that, just keep that in mind, right? She's sitting in the B. All right, say, okay. Now what you do is, okay. We have got this. Okay, now she is looking right and left. Or for example, she is, she is, she is standing. She is standing from the bench, for example, right? And then I'm just gonna click on create the video. Now let's see some of the videos that we have created. So that's how you can kind of create consistent videos with your character, right? I'm gonna close this. I'm gonna go to media library. I'm gonna click on my AI videos. You see, we got some of these videos generated. By the way, you'll see that progress bar. As the videos are generating, uh, you, will, you will see that. And once it is completed, it will appear like that. And I'm just gonna drop that here. I'm gonna drop it here, right? And look at that, let's see. Pretty, pretty, pretty powerful, right? She's running, pretty powerful, right? Now imagine like, you know, your entire five minute, one minute, 10 minutes, entire story can be explained and done with the consistent character that you could not do before. And that is game changer, guys. That's game changer, right? Again, so summary, create with AI, consistent character, reference photo, pick the category first and based on the category, upload your reference photo if you have your, you know, illustrations, your character and all that. And then describe how you want that character to be, uh, you know, like I did. And then just what the action you want her to do or want them to do, you know, uh, you can leave it as empty and you can create the video. And just like that, you can have your voiceovers, you know, uh, you can have your entire story done. Pretty, pretty powerful, right? So all the images and all the videos will appear here. I think you also got like, she's running on the hill again. I think I just doubled, like I duplicated it or something. Anyways, like, you know, it's, the results will come like that, right? So, so when I did just running, it came like that. When I did she's running, it came like that, right? So. Again, right, whatever you like, you can do it as many times as you want. That's a beauty, right? That's a beauty with uh, Video Express or the whole suite of products, whether it's artistly, you don't have to worry about credits and all. You will automatically get the best, you know, from the, from the first get go. If you don't, you can always regenerate and play with it, right? It's all about playing, it's all about taking it and then kind of understanding with that, right? So let me know, guys, if you have any questions uh, in the comments and let's, I, I hope you are so far enjoying it just like I am and uh, let's talk about the next feature.